Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Kind of a 3D looking pinwheel. You know, uh, people that don't know what a pinwheel is, it's a children's blowing device that would kind of turn like a windmill. I'm going to rotate everything 45 degrees. So I'm going to take an ellipse, and it doesn't really matter, you know, what size you make it, but you got to hit P to put it in the center of the page, make it better, make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to control D and duplicate it. I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. And then control D, control D. So that's all you need. Now what I'm going to do, and I do this in a lot of my videos, I'm going to group this together for a lot of reasons. But I'm going to take, now I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete these two lines. I am going to get my Smartville tool. And I'm going to not use black. I'm going to use Maybe this, let's use this purple this time. Now, the reason I grouped all that stuff together, because now I can move it out of the way and I won't have to have interfering lines. Now we're going to take our interactive fill tool and just wipe across of it. Maybe even go outside of it and put a black on both ends. And I could have started off with black, but then let's get that purple and put it in the middle. And then this is where your artistic ability would come into play because uh, you can always grab that tool back. You can change, don't want to do that. You can change the direction of it and you can kind of see it through here. I don't know why that does that sometimes, but you want just a little bit of a black or maybe even more in this corner and. You know, if you want a little bit deeper purple there, you could add another little purple. Um, but I think that looks pretty good. In a lot of cases, I will go right here to smooth it out. But I think in this case, I like that shiny line. And I'm going to actually maybe just put these on top of each other because I kind of want that shiny line. That's not a very good example. Um you know, I've never tried to delete a color. Um, yes, you can delete a color. So there you go. We can, let's add this lime green to it. Wow, see how much different it looks. Then you can adjust your handles. You know, you're trying to get some black into this corner, into the corners. Anyway, we'll leave it like that and leave it alone. But now I'm going to control D and duplicate it. And I have guidelines or indexing lines in the center. I'm going to make sure they're in the center, and it's not. It's real important to be in the center. There we go. And now we're going to use that 45 degrees again. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. And you have that. Now you could do a lot more with this. I'm going to turn off my indexing lines. Um, you know, you could add... Um, you know, you start in the center and go outward with holding down the control and the shift button. You know, you could make that black, uh, take away the outline, you know, get your interactive fill tool, uh, swipe across, but then get the elliptical and put it in the center, move it out. You know, if you notice this one kind of makes it a non round and you could play around with this and put a little color. Well, too much. Maybe I should put the color right here. Wow. Looks pretty good. I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.